The life-threatening floods was compounded by a two-day continuous torrential rains in the northern sector. Already, six lives have been lost. Scores of vehicles were stranded at either side of the White Volta between Kubori in the Boko West and Bazwa in the Binduri districts. The floods submerged the bridge on the highway spreading across the field. Only trees were visible in the flat, estimated to be over one kilometer away from the White Volta. The Boga Boko Highway links other neighboring countries like Niger, Togo, Burkina Faso, Mali, among others. A few brave truck drivers managed to drive through at the early stages of the flood. Since I was born, unless 1988 that we had this type of water, till today, PW Ghanim work here, Galvaro work here, and cementation work here, we didn't have this type of water. Only this is the water that the West, about 40 years now, this is the highest one which came here. We didn't have water which crossed this road before. The, the cars cannot pass. People are there. Cars are there. Please, we need government to come and do something for us. In fact, this is my first time of seeing this. I've been hearing this since, that sometimes this water gets full and gets choked and vehicles cannot pass. But today is my first time of seeing it. Some stranded commuters lost their patience and waded through the flood while officials of NADMO and the police looked on helplessly. I reached around uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, but because of the flooding situation, we couldn't cross, which is very disturbing. So we wish if the government can do something about it, because looking at this one, people are trying to cross, and we have emergency cases that are supposed to be, at be attended within time. Because if somebody is sick and they are bringing the person or they are referring the person from Boku to uh, Bolga or Tamale, the person will get die on the way because the place is no good for the person to go because, because of the flooding situation. When people are suffering, if a city like Boko should have such problem, nobody can come from Boko and nobody can go to Boko and we are in a, uh, Boko is a borders uh, distant uh, city. I don't see what politicians are doing and making noise and all that. Hey, 